Okay, so today we're going to learn how to make these fabric folded Christmas ball ornaments. We can make them with uh, anywhere from two to four or even five fabrics depending on the size that you like to work on. But I recommend at least three different fabrics. Okay, so what we'll need for this. You'll need a styrofoam ball. Um, the size that I like is a two and a half inch diameter but you can use up to three. I wouldn't use anything any bigger than that. But anywhere between two and three inches. You'll need a rubber band, a pencil. You're going to need a lot of straight pens and you don't want any with any heads on them. You just want these straight pens. And you are going to need quite a few um, two inch squares of fabric. As I said, in two to four different uh, different fabrics and I will explain how many of each one. Okay, so to get started what you need to do is take your styrofoam ball and you will see that there's already a line I guess from the mold that it was made from. So that will be one of your reference points. And then take the rubber band and cross it so that you can quarter your ball. And this you can just eyeball. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to uh, divide the sphere in about four sections. And once you do that, then just take your uh, pencil and draw along the rubber band. Okay. And basically what you need this for is to have a point of reference for these quadrants here. Okay, so you can see the four different quadrants. Okay. You're going to need to cut uh, for the center. This part you will need eight two inch squares. And then for each additional row that you decide to work with, you will need 16 two inch squares. So 8 for the center and 16 for each additional row. Here you can see I've worked with three different fabrics and here we have four different fabrics. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for each row, 16 fabrics except for the center one where you will need eight fabrics. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start by pressing, folding your little square in half and then turning the points down to, this is called a prairie point, okay? You'll be doing this and pressing it. And since you have quite a few of these uh, squares that, that you'll be working with, one of the things that I like to do is just uh, prepare all of these, you know, press them all at one sitting and then go and watch TV or something while I make the ornament. The ornament's very easy to make, but it is time consuming. So just make sure that you press this really well, and then we're ready to start putting the ornament together. Okay, so for the first piece, this is how we're going to start. I've got my prairie point ready. I'm going to center it along the top, and I'm just going to open it a little bit and put one pin right at the tip. It's best to do this with the fabric open. Okay, and put that in there and try to hide it so that when you fold the fabric down you won't be able to see the pin anymore. Okay? Use your the marks to place the fabric okay? and then here we'll put a few more pins along the, end, the edge okay? just to hold the whole fabric down. Okay. And we will do that with the rest of the pieces. So you have four prairie points pinned down as your first layer. For the second layer, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to start, you see the fold from the first layer of the prairie points right here? So you're going to use that as a reference point. 
And if you want, you can measure, but it's not really necessary. You know, I'd say about, it's, it depends on how many um, different uh, layers you want to work with. But it's anywhere between a fourth to a half inch between the point of one layer and the point of the second layer. Okay, but so you're going to use that as a reference point and you're just going to place the second row right on top of the first, just pushing it down a little bit. And you can see here the pins, okay. And then you're going to put another row that is four more right here, okay. You can see this. So this was the first row and then right on top, so you're alternating, okay. And this gives you your second row of prairie points. And you can see the star taking shape there. Okay. And then, then you repeat that with the third row. You can see here these were put down first, right? And then the others on top, okay? So you've got four here, four here. 8 here, 8 here, another 8 here, and here. And as you can see, we have closed this at the center. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the shape, the ornament is basically uh, put together there, but you want to be able to cover this up. You don't want these, uh, the raw edges or the pins to show. So in that case, you can use ribbon, or you can use, what I like to do is from the same fabric, just a piece of, uh, um, another a strip of fabric that I fold down and press, okay, and then just, uh, at any point, just put one pin in, and then just cover those raw edges, fold the other end down, then you can hold this down with a pen and tuck any raw edges in or, or trim those, those threads, okay? But there you have it. And then, of course, <clears throat> you want to hang it with a ribbon. You can do any other embellishing you would like. So as I said, this is a very, very easy ornament to make. It just takes a little bit of time. I hope you enjoyed this.